Hey, hello and welcome back. I just realized this is the last day of my 14 days end skip trial and let's better make a video. That doesn't mean that I will never ever again make another end skip video, but I of course want to only buy a license if I have a job to do. That could be anytime soon anyway. Now, I thought let's explore a bit more and let's touch base on things we haven't looked at yet. Alright, I thought we could use the model I was building up for some other tutorials on Ladybug project in Rwanda. It's on the countryside. It's a small farm or medium sized farm. I thought it's a good opportunity to test Enscape and what can we get out of this quite simple model. So this is not just about creating renderings, but maybe we can explore if we can use animation features and even the via headsets and stuff like that that might not that might be tricky to for you to understand but i can at least show how how we go about it all right so if you don't have enscape installed just go to enscape you need to sign up and then you can download a 14 days trial which is great if you use it for a job if you need it for a job what i find really cool is you can buy a subscription and you can cancel the subscription subscription anytime and it's only it's it's not that expensive like thinking about thinking back in in the old days when you had to buy a license and that was really an investment and and then after a, f a years it was outdated after after a year the software was outdated now nowadays you can buy a license for just a month and if you have a big work to do then this is i think it's a really good option and you always get the latest version now this is not this is just me talking about Enscape, I'm not say I'm not this is not a sponsored video. Now there are other good software out there. I'm not saying that Enscape is the only thing you, you can use. But yeah, we we talked about this a bit. So we have the Enscape start button. We can enable and disable the updates, the live updates in Enscape. Since synchronize Enscape camera positions, browse for the Enscape asset library, import predefined materials. That's that's one of the most handiest things I think, I feel. I remember V-Ray, there was a lot of, there was a lot of materials, but you had to buy them and it was pain, painful. You can tune the materials, you can upload panoramas on the web and so on. There's also a settings window. You can talk with the developers and you get like information about the software, just as which version you're running and so on. And you can access your account. Now let's start Enscape at first and let's see what, what's going on here. All right, so one thing you realize here, first of all, this is, it already has a texture. This texture from the surrounding areas is coming from the Lens, Lens Design plugin, which automatically downloads the available satellite image based on the topography or the, the location. That's very handy, but what you have to do in order for this to work, you need to go into the materials and change this material to Enskip, to an Enskip material. Otherwise, otherwise you will have issues. Now, the other things are pretty boringly white, as you can see. We have some nice fluffy clouds. With shift and right mouse click, you can change the daylight. We explored that last time and I like that you can really you know, add a night scene here. It's pretty cool. Early morning light. Let's do this. Six o'clock in the morning. All right. I will. I will probably synchronize. Synchronize with whatever is here, so we can see it next to each other. Yes, I think that's great. All right. Let's start with basic materials. We have originally when I modeled this, I already had some some basic divisions here. So I had hardscape, architecture, softscape. But let's let's use this and this I will not change for now, but everything else. So I will just check first what's actually in here. So I will select objects and then there is no object in here. So I can actually delete this. Don't don't need that. 
contour base base it was the original sketch of that of that landscape which has changed quite a bit then we have hardscape let's see what's in hardscape all right so this is this stuff here terrace balcony more like terraces in the in the inner landscape or the inner courtyard all right let's find a material for this go here no this is the asset so we, sorry grounds okay i think this is very much a typical i'm thinking of a, of a material which is similar to like to rammed earth i think this is pretty good maybe i use this one soil number three okay so number three as you can see there's a bit of an issue with the size and last time we talked about this and actually now i can show what's happening it's basically every the texture will is just applied based on the surface and uses the surface size and kind of division in that case you, you can even see the on how this surface is organized so what we're gonna do is like we select this all and we change the mapping change the mapping to a box mapping for now very often this will be enough and what i will do here is i will just use here the base base or length kind of method sorry i, I use the point method so the three point method i just press p and i'll go here auto and i use one as a length and a length one and then one for the elevation and i use the capped option here and now this looks a bit more more realistic and the reason is i th I believe most of these textures are one like a meter by a meter kind of texture. It's, it, it is a texture which which represents a square, a square meter. Okay, then we have grass or let's say softscape. We do the same. We're gonna change the mapping, but in instead of using this tool here, we can actually use another command which says match mapping, and we just choose another object. And say map mapping channel one, which there must there probably is just one only one mapping channel, and and so we changed all the selection to the same mapping of this object here. So we use the soil mapping, the, or the so, sorry, the, we use the hardscape mapping for for everything else. We could select the whole project and or sorry, the whole model and do that. Of course, that would be another option. Okay. And now we can again import materials from here. Ground, grass. I'll take this grass. And here we can choose grass again. We can choose, and it's already in the right size. Now going back to Enscape, it already looks more interesting here. I think we're gonna go into this here and extrude it so we can see this a bit better. Also, this one. And okay, I mean, it's very simple geometry sorry for that but that's what it is at the moment now again you can see the mapping here was the mapping got lost somehow so we can get the mapping back by just match mapping oops choose any surface where the mapping is applied to and then that's that's it and i will push this a bit further up move face direction okay okay this works a bit better now we have these walls here I and they are under architecture. I'm, I'm thinking they should be different. They should be different than the architecture. But let's make the road first. So this is called a dirt road. I mean, it could be also just, I don't know. It could be the same material as this one. Since this is uh, anyways some dirt or, or like soil. Maybe let's go here and let's, let's find something else. Ground cracked soil maybe this one of course you can always change it later if you want get rid of these extrusion here extrusions here there's some holes but yeah we can deal with this later okay so now soil cracked same problem we need to change the mapping match mapping yeah it's not very it's not really much different but yeah now these walls, I'm not as I'm not very happy with how they look like at the moment. I'm wondering also if I can join this. Yes, I can. What I don't like is that they don't have thickness. But I can maybe first grab them. They don't have any thickness. That's not not cool. Create a new folder. And now let's see what we can do with this. Offset, offset surface. 
okay and offset inwards distance 0.2 i think that's okay maybe, maybe a bit more half a meter i think half a meter is good it's not perfect but it also it's it's okay imagine this becomes like a stone wall offset surface that works really good let's connect them by the way this is not a construction model so it doesn't have to be 100 percent here there's a bit of an issue solid points on interestingly this wheels all right okay and probably could offset more than just one surface offset and then you for sure you say oh, but the let's get another material okay zooming back in enscape material library and i want to have a interesting wall maybe wallpaper wood bricks concrete stone stone wall that sounds good of course this doesn't really work again because it's based on the material size we can we can choose everything here and say match mapping and now the mapping is looks looks correct it looks a bit it looks very clean i have to say for us for farm but let's that's what we have at the moment now architecture architecture of course now we could go and, and divide things a bit further and, and so on a bit hesitant but what we could do not really we just keep it simple for this option this is all just one material for now and it should be also some sort of rammed earth rammed kind of thing they have it rammed earth perfect i like this here interestingly here it, it doesn't work with the it doesn't it doesn't really work with the box kind of mapping so we could try something else let's see the mapping we could try a cylindric mapping and then just match with the tallest point here okay it seems it works all right let's have a look in enscape how that how that looks like so far i find it pretty cool probably in reality they will, will they won't have this like very neat lawn here but it's a farm at the end <laughs> but it's nice how quickly you can get a result daylight let's check the daylight again something like this morning light somehow yeah might push this a bit down it's a few holes in there but yeah let's i just want to really just check how quickly we can get to an interesting interesting point here what do we need now okay so this is we have a base base material set up of course you could you could go mu into much much more detail with you know, windows frames etc but i want to show a few other things um first of all planting so you can access the planting from enscape and let's make a new folder here assets planting and this is my active layer so i want to keep this in my active layer and then we can add planting so that there's a few ways you can do this so let's go here and let's there's you can select items move items rotate items scale them you can place single asset placement and then you can as place multiple assets all right so yeah in here now in the library there is now we can place stuff which is great you cannot select anything in the model except you place something from the library that's a good that's that's how it works but if i go back first here i created a folder this is going to be in my in these in the active folder that's at least what i expect this to happen so if i place now a person leave and apply okay so it looks quite good and maybe let's place another one and they all look now in the same direction which is annoying by the way sometimes i would love this to be the same kind of, kind of navigation as in rhino but it's not now you can select something here and then for example rotate because they look all in the same direction a bit weird but yeah you can also place furniture apply changes of course so that's you can place things in different ways so you can place things like this very simple doesn't make much sense here maybe but you can move it over here and of course that that was not great that's that could be something when you move it that it stays on the plane and not so it stays on the surface and not in the same level 
that would be crazy crazy amazing all right so that's one way to put assets and we can of course add more but let's let's say i have a truck here maybe and it's too much too big big of a car maybe a car yeah that's not bad now trees we can also place trees of course maybe go here oh here yeah here here you have your <laughs> that's what i was looking for so you can put furniture lighting people sports equipment street props vegetation vehicle, vehicles vegetation now we are in on a farm not sure if we find the right things for a farm but we can we can try to create something which fits which will look as a farm like a farm and this is not about being exact with species for now we can of course go a bit become a bit more specific later but this is about the first impression now okay let's say i'm not sure what that is let's have a look that could be some herb let's try this okay so there's one way you can place one by one which is of course a bit crazy if you have lots of planting to do but you can also place multiple objects so you can here select things and then place it in one go as a random kind of thing let's let's try this oops okay and then there's a way to kind of i like draw this rectangle that's one thing to on how you can work on it you can change the density you can change the yitter if it's yittering or uniform I'm not sure if this is more uniform but yeah or randomly look very similar to me don't save okay there's another way where you can create a circle distribute this as a circle also not really what i'm looking for so we just don't save now we can also use this fill filling option here that looks quite interesting not really i'm not sure okay let's say let let's i applied the changes already here and it didn't work maybe all right you can here regenerate the placement if you're not happy with it confirm placement and apply changes now that looks a bit it doesn't look really like a farm okay let's try something else what if i'm adding more that's a bit underwhelming to be honest interestingly i cannot select the entire group i placed this is a bit annoying so i need to remove one by one so i will try it more like a farm style so there's just one species per level and maybe i need to do it a bit manually as well so i remove this here so i'll just use one it's not too bad i mean as a start it's not it, it, it's okay maybe we can we can add more if we want and let's continue with this oops i want to have a different one this time i use this one i'm not sure about this so like this i didn't like that much instead of instead of like choosing one single plant you can of course create a, 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 like select more of the more species together let's say for example i have here some, some trees here fruit trees or maybe mango no 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 not like this apple okay and so you can place different plants i mean it's a bit sad that you cannot add more at the same time i think probably there's some sort of like a maximum you can add before it's you know before instead of like just avoid just to avoid that there are too many things placed this looks pretty nice okay but it's summer so maybe let's get rid of these don't save okay sorry still need to get used to a lot of things here what i find it annoying is that it's if you place it one by one it's not automatically rotated 
that would be just so much more helpful and also scaled maybe a bit so that they're not all look the same that could be really good in scape people please change that even though it's the same model it could be good if it's if you could rotate it automatically maybe that's maybe you can do that already but it, i don't know i haven't seen that okay and now let's add more few clicks and yeah it looks a bit repetitive but yeah it's a farm i think i hope people get it but i think you get the point it's so simple and of course these are not the right species now this is a bit off center place is a bit better yeah, i'm very happy with this i mean look at that and of course now i <laughs> i didn't really pay attention to where i'm gonna place it but at least it's in here within the assets which is which is pretty good now i clicked here synchronize enscape camera position so it's supposed to be the same yeah so now we could i mean look at that so now taking renders is is fairly simple of course there's a lot to do here i mean the of course the texture of the surrounding doesn't work but overall i mean for our site it's very very interesting how quickly we can create an image which looks convincing right i haven't saved any views here but i can of course create a new view that's pretty good give it a name and that i think must be here yeah it's actually the same that's pretty good now if i click this here yes so I c you can create views from enscape that's really good now we could for example create another one from here navigation i'm still not very happy with. it could be really so much better but i guess if you want if you need to cater for different platforms then of course that's something to consider now if i change now the daylight I'm wondering if that has an effect later on when i create an animation okay we can also change here the image we can change here to auto contrast we can change the saturation if you want double click means going back to the current version you can change the temperature of the image more warmer or more colder motion blur that's of course something when you have when you record the animation lens flare the more or less bloom it's mix area has this like soft filter not a big fan of this vignetting this is pretty good if you want to have more if you want to create more a cinematic image chromatic aberration you can add a bit of a basically defect of the lens atmosphere intensity you can add more or less fog in the background the height of the fog could be if there's something you want to hide probably that's not so bad the brightness of the sunlight makes the shadows stronger night sky brightness can change when it's night time let's check it out can't see much interesting this motion blur thing did i change it too much hmm. let's go back nice morning light the sky 
All right. And then we have wind intensity. Let's just keep it as it is. You can change even the angle of the wind. You can change the sky to, you know, different surroundings. That may be not so bad. And probably you can put your own images. Rotation. And yeah, we're not in a glacier, but yeah. And now because this feels like, let's see, can we change the fog again? Create another view. I was not very consistent with the naming, but I hope you don't mind. If I, now I can go back. You know, can go very quickly to the different views. I don't know why this changes to night now. If the background is not really part of that. I mean, if you want to like, kind of zoom to something very specific, then the field field of depth of field is really really useful but it could also very quickly look very wrong and then on the end here you have the render quality now in the output in the output you can here of course choose the resolution full hd ultra hd and then you can export the typical things you will need if you want to go further into photoshop and change things there so export object id material id if you have worked with v-ray then you know what we're talking about png is probably a better one if you need some post-production afterwards and automatic naming and you can this is really all very super useful and you can specify the folder where you want to have that render output okay maybe i can just choose something pictures test and here i can select folder and then we can this this here this depth depth range defines how far these this alpha sorry the depth range channel records the image so it basically creates black and white image which the closer you are to the camera the, the whiter it is and the, the further away the darker and you, you can change for the panorama resolution you don't need that at the moment and then you can just batch render so you can select these and render images now going into my folder you can see it it outputted this different images one is the alpha channel objects within the scene become white these are the is the alpha channel and everything else black this is my depth channel where you can see you can change you specify the range and how far how big you want to show that or like how deep you want to go into the image here you can select the individual plants and objects to tweak them the color yeah that is the image itself so I, I could open this in photoshop and then you could apply whatever you want to apply maybe lut late suns i'm not happy with this okay let's leave it it already looks very good but of course we can check if this if the saturation works for us the levels if the levels work it's has a lot of range color balance of course we can crop it if you think what you can do within i mean this it was just not possible a, a few years ago and now it's just so easy just to do this when i was working on the thousand trees project in shanghai we were placing images of plants like cut out plants on a plane in 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 rhino and then render it with re-ray and it was pain and then they didn't rotate properly and now you just place it into the model and it's all already fixed it's all there okay so that that's one way to work what else can we do with enscape we could create an animation from these images now if you want to create the video it's it's a bit of like thinking slightly different than how you would probably do with other in other software but okay let's let's have a look you can go here to video editor and as you can see you can still pan the, the, the your image and it says here create at least one at least two keyframes so you need one starting frame and one end frame and then it will automatically the camera will move from between the two the same as when we change the, the views you can see it flips from one view to the other but in that case you can record that and so click you can click here or here to start and end and then when when i activate this i can i can change things here so i can for example okay it's now 7 7 a.m in the morning that's perfectly fine then i can say update this and then let's say i want to have a second on the second keyframe sorry on the second at the end 
I want to end the video somewhere here and it's my end now it created a 1.5 1 minute and 50 seconds video it's relatively short, like slow I would say but yeah let's and so we can go out here and out of this so if we hopala how to do that okay if I click here I can add another one if I want in the middle but then it of course it created an, a new it created additional time which is very strange okay and I can delete this in the middle you can go here and opala now this oh god it's very strange it's it's it I don't know I'm not yet really 100% familiar how that works but also navigation I really am not a big fan but okay let's update this again now we have this one video with 1 minute and 55 seconds don't know why it's longer now but if we play this now it's 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 very slow okay somebody needs to explain me this but um, it, I can change the the time here I can change the time here to zero and maybe this is just 30 seconds long and then I can play and then it's much faster but you can already see that there's a problem it will just the camera moves from one from A to B and it rotates but it rotates in a very strange way and, and you will, will see things which you don't want to see so well we can stop this and we can add another keyframe it's a bit annoying okay so nothing is selected okay now this this works better it's it's a bit strange in how this all works it's not very clear oh, oh yeah okay you need to select this it's a bit annoying okay i mean and this like, navigation is really pain i think there's a way to actually get mouse speed okay mouse speed movement speed i would just make this way faster let's see if that works yeah okay this is feels better let's let's crank this up more five no freeze the maximum they have a bit of a problem with their maximum and minimum but can I put enough plants the speed is not speeding is not allowed all right okay now but I have this key selected this keyframe and now I can say update but moved in the middle because it's in the middle between these two locations now that should now work better of course I can add another one and now I'm slowly getting the hang of it so now if I move here and I create another one you see where it lands it's kind of I can go back here if if it's selected and I can update then it's updated okay now it feels we're getting somewhere I could play this now it feels very very slow still I just would like to go here exit yes keyframe exit you can exit here and then you can change the timing here again and I just make it even faster just for this explanation and now yeah we could now of course do this maybe we need to do the last one go in here now the movement is too fast but oh this is it's really annoying okay this was not what i wanted let's update this okay so we have this updated now we can change the field of view a bit further so we actually see something here a bit up and we go further in a bit back okay update now we go back here there's also another way to do this by the way you can add a path but that's gonna be the next advanced also looks pretty cool it is like distorted okay update and we will fill the view change the field of view update okay go here add a new it creates so you can see the path here that's that's why okay that's pretty good now let's go to this one okay this one needs to be update add oops add okay and now we created a camera path yeah it's not perfect but let's see and it's still the same duration so we can maybe increase it a bit let's make it 35 seconds and let's see how it works okay
<laughs> okay, it's yeah, it's not perfect, but you can see, you see how that works. Very interesting. Could be also good like a a drone shot flying over. But yeah, you can of course create more video paths. Doesn't have to be this one. And then you can export, hopefully. Export, yes, here. Ultra HD, custom, quality. You can here put maximum, lossless, in the frames per second. I like 25, lower, full HD is fine for now. And then export. And yeah, MP4. All right. And here we have our video. And that you can, you know, put into premiere or any other video editor and add a bit more effects if you want and of course it's way too fast here but but you get the point i think i hope now the last thing we want to explore with this is if we can use I'll go here save okay save i can save it yeah now i want to use the vr headset let's here i am okay so how to do this so in order for this to work you need to install the meta quest link software that needs to be installed on your computer i just found out you can find the description in at the, in the forum nscape3d.com and yeah let's see i hope hope it works i saw it i already used saw it in the studio people using it we were testing a few things already but i haven't used it at home so let's see Currently, it's looking for a headset. Okay, let's I'm gonna go back here and wait until this is installed. But yeah, I'm looking forward to go into my scene, and then I probably will f try to see if I can. If I can, it would be great to export actually a 3D video, you know, a 360 stereoscopic video. Two gigabyte is a lot. Not sure why this needs to be so big. I'm for sure I need to sign in and all this crap. Okay. Okay, this took quite a while to install. Setup complete, put your headset, put your headset to start using link. You may need to use the shortcut. Okay, let's try. And my cable's a bit short, this is the only problem. So I need to understand. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's, let's see how that works. Searching for head mounted display. Okay, now this, now it works. So if I go back to the Oculus, then you can see whatever i can see okay it's pretty cool here there's a bit of a yeah go outside into the garden oh and you can jump with this is a way to jump i'm not sure how to rotate it's absolutely fantastic and then the cool thing is in here i can basically render an image so with the camera and funny thing is it feels oops it feels smaller than it is smaller than i expected it to be I need to trim the branches a bit but here's my lavender field it's really cool so now i have the walking mode on now architecture is very simple at the moment i cannot oh i cannot walk through interesting all right okay let's go back here wondering what else can i change okay map settings i can change the day, time of the day they are very tall, not sure. Hmm. Any stars? It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Hey, ha hello. I hope you, hey, I like, I hope you like this video. Everything a bit chaotic. I, I really struggled with the quest thing. Enscape itself, very simple. There was just one in in the settings i was just in the settings of the quest link which you need to install you need to install a quest link in order to link the quest with the pc it actually works really well with the air link so it's just via wi-fi that's really good so that was i was able to do very easily now but then i had to change something in the settings just to allow a third party software to take over that was the only thing other than that you saw i mean navigation is pretty simple you can change the daylight within the enscape vr headset kind of mode 
so when you are in there but this is pretty awesome and I, yeah I will, I will check out how I can render but yes I hope you have a better understanding how Enscape works. Alright, see you in the next in the next video. Ciao.